coming up today, I tried to pronounce an Italian name. Sheet of paper for this. Sorry for my pronunciation, Italians. Uh, Corosiria Ghia. Yeah. Thank you, cameraman. Into the back. My dad tells us why he is flexible. Lucky I do yoga. And a man called Steve gets to 50. 50 miles an hour. Hello, and welcome back to Automotivania. And today we have another review. This time, this. The Volkswagen Carmen Gear. normal automotive area stuff like exterior, interior, drive, practicality and all that stuff. Um, because this is a classic car, let's look at the history and stuff like that. And the car debuted as a concept in 1953 and it went sale on 1955. Uh, it's basically under on, on the sa sha chassis, under on, on the sa sha chassis and the mechanical is its beetle. Um, however, it has the bodywork done by a coach building company called Carmen, and the styling was done by, I'm gonna have to look at my sheet of paper for this. Sorry for my pronunciation, Italians. Uh, Corosiria Ghia. Yeah. Thank you, cameraman. Um, yeah, him and his friends, they do the styling for the car. The chassis is a four inch wider than the Beetle one, but it's still based on the Beetle. And the mechanicals, the engine, this one has a upgraded um, 1600cc one. There's some basic facts, we'll do some more facts as we go along, but now let's do some more traditional stuff. Let's move on. Okay, let's look at the exterior of the Carmen Gear. So at the front, yeah, I think Mr. Gear, I'm not gonna really try and say his first name again, I think he did a very good job of the design in the front of the car. Now, interesting fact, the design was originally a Chrysler because Gear, um, Mr. Gear, he designed a car called the Chrysler Delegance. It was a concept car in the 19, late 1940s, I believe, and nothing really became much of it. And then when Volkswagen got in touch with him about the Carmen Gear, uh, Gear decided he was, he was looking about at the stuff he had and he saw the Delegant stuff and he thought actually this would work really well in Volkswagen's car. So yeah, he used basically the same styling stuff, styling stuff as the Chrysler Delegant, but it does look really cool. Around the side, it's got this coupe shape because that's the car it is, it's a 2 plus 2. It's not actually, it's not really a sports car, it's not, it wasn't designed for going fast, but more on that when we talk about what the car's like for driving. And then around the back, uh, I think the car is really good back again. Um, Carmen gear, written really nicely, especially the gear, if you just come and have a look at that. Very nice writing there. Um, we've then got these light pluses which you can tell what type of Carmen gear it is from the light clusters, whether it's a Type 14, Type 34, all that stuff. We've then got a thing there. I don't know what it is. It's a thing. And oh, that's where the number plate light is. Yep, number plate light. And then our double exhausts. Overall, Mr. Gear did a very good job of designing this car. And I'm now looking at myself in the wheels. So inside of the car, um, the owner has basically fully restored it. The original things include steering wheel and the speedometer, and that's about it, really. If he wanted a full re restoration of everything original, it would have costed a lot of money. Still, the inside of I think like this is quite nice, so quite retro feeling. The pedals are quite offset, so that might be a bit strange when you're driving, and it is left-hand drive, as you can see. Um, but yeah, because it's not really original, there's not much to say about the interior other than it's retro, it's nice and it's cool. So let's move on to practicality, which will be funny. Here is my dad getting into the back. Can we mind that? Lucky I do yoga. Okay, now let's put that back and see what practicality is like. 
So then, cameraman dad, what's it like back there? Yes. There's no room for my head to go straight. Would you like to do a long distance journey back Absolutely, there? Absolutely, it'll be lovely. Okay, you're full of lies. Yeah, Let's test. <laughs> Let's go around to this side. Comfy? Very. What are the seats like back there? Sitting on a bit of padded wood. Right, we're going to leave you in there because why not? And we're going to look at some of the space in the front. And then, unfortunately, you'll have to get out because then we'll look at some space in the back. So let's just test the front space. To do that, we open the glove box. Do this, pull it hard and try not to break it. Let's speed this up. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, that goes up quick. Okay, so inside, this would have carpet along there, carpet here. There'd be carpet, so there would be room for stuff. And actually, that is not bad. I mean, it's not exactly deep, but there's quite a bit of room there. Now, this has been described as a... We'll leave it like that for now. Um, this has been described as a practical 2 plus 2. Um, not very sporty, but practical. Right, Dad, um, you're allowed to get out now. Let's see what that looks like. I'm not going to help you. Right, let's see what it's like back there. Right, so, in order to find some more storage, without having that close on me, um, what we do is we fly into the back, Struggle, lift up the latch and pull that down and then get greeted with being squashed and a lot of space so actually it's really not that bad for storage and there's quite a lot of it now if you want to see a car that does not have much space for storage you can click on the banner on the top right hand screen side of your screen to watch the my review of the toyota Igo, which was Atrocious for boot space. Let's move on. Right, cubby holder count time. Shouldn't take too long. Right, okay. So we have one there, two there, three there. Um, who's that Nope. Yep. Um, I think that is it. Three cubby holders. Yeah, I've just been told by the owner to find out what the horn sounds like because, so I'm not really knowing, I'm not knowing what to expect here. So are you ready? Nope. It sounds great. Um, I've been instructed by the owner to see what the horn sounds like because it's quite strange sounding, so let's, you can hear it. That's cool, let's move on. Let's have a look at this engine and I'll tell you some stuff about it. So under here we have a 1641cc Steve, hello Steve. Hiya. Um, so then Steve, uh, what is, what 
Okay, thank you, Steve. So, if you are planning on getting a car in here, then make sure you get used to it first before you start ragging it about. Um, so yeah. drive car um, I, it's actually a lot more practical than I thought as well especially for a coupe like this so yeah I think overall it's a very good car and I'm going to give it a 9.63218 out of 10 so yeah thanks for watching Automotivania see you on the next video I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like make sure that you've subscribed to this channel and all of that and massive thanks to Steve for letting us use this car for the review. And yeah.